How's it going Guardians, Cloud Plays here and welcome back to another Destiny video here on this channel. In today's video we have got another solo Nightfall cheese for you guys. Now this technique was actually founded by Triton HD. The channel and the video link will be down in the description so if you want to see the original version then make sure you go check that out. Now Malak actually is quite a difficult run to go by, it really really is, as far as getting up to the boss there's no sort of exact method as to the way that you should be doing it, just base it on your own initiative and just try and find some spots where you think that you can take out the ads accordingly. Now once you do get to the boss, this is where the cheese method actually comes in. So obviously at the beginning you're going to take out the small amount of ads that are roaming around the center orb. Once you've done that guys, you want to come to this location here. You can see that there is a little pipe in the corner and you want to be crouching as far into the corner without standing on the pipe so that the floor is actually at head level. And what you'll find is that Malik actually shoots directly at the ground. Now this is going to take a couple of attempts guys, I am not going to lie, because positioning is very, very, very important on this cheese. If you do get the positioning wrong, he will shoot his little fire sprays directly on top of you and it will kill you. If you are a self res warlock, it works in your favour because you've got another attempt at it. And basically all you're going to want to do is you're going to be getting those headshots on him until he goes towards the left hand side. When he does go towards the left hand side you want to be taking out the ads that are on your right and then going behind you in the small little tunneled area and taking the ads out there. Using that area as a sort of safe spot to carry on picking those headshots over at Malak. Now once you have done that guys and he starts to move back to the right and the ads start to respawn you want to go back to the position where the pipes are at. Now the reason I do say it takes a couple of attempts is because trying to get to that location again safely is actually not that easy but once you do get into that position again you can just carry on picking him off on those headshots. Now from Triton's video what he did is he basically did that run again so he did it for the arc shots then he did it for the fire sprays and then he also did it for those little void freaking orbs as well. Now I actually found that it was a lot harder to stay in that position in and trying to take out those void orbs whilst you had the guy on the right hand side shooting those bloody shadow orbs at you. So what I did is I stood at the back, I made sure I had rocket launcher ammo and grenades on tap and I was able to take out the two cabal that spawn at the back and just use that back area for the safe spot. It gives me a bit more time to take out those void orbs and it actually worked very very well. Now I'm not saying that Triton's method was not going to work and it may work for you guys but for me personally I found I felt a little bit safer at the back of the map knowing that when I saw that the ads were spawning in I could take those two cabal out really easily. And it, literally from that point guys you're just going to want to keep getting those headshots taking out those two cabal and then carrying on with the headshots. It's actually really really simple. Now if this video did help you out in any way shape or form make sure you leave it a blue thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section exactly what you got from the Nightfall this week. I'm really interested to see what you guys have got because the Nightfall's been sprouting out some really, really random crap of recent. And if this does happen to be the first video you've seen from me, Clown Plays, make sure you subscribe for daily gaming content and live streams on YouTube at six days a week. I want to thank you all again for jumping in, but as always, Guardians, I'll see you in the clouds.